Hi Samurais and welcome back to my channel. On today's video we're testing out the e.l.f. Cosmetics Mint Mount Collection. I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I did creating it. Make sure that you do subscribe and hit that bell icon before you leave so that you're notified when new content is uploaded. This week was supposed to be the Animal Crossing Colourpop unboxing, but unfortunately one of the eyeshadows was broken, so I am waiting for a replacement for that. So hopefully next week's video will be diving into that whole collection. I hope you all are having an amazing day, stay safe, and as always, make good choices. To prep our skin, we're going in with the new limited edition e.l.f. Cosmetics Mint Melt Cooling Primer. This smells a lot like chocolate. I kind of like it. Now that we have that applied, we're going in with the Morphe Fluidity Foundation in the shade F1.60. And I'm going to apply that with my Beauty Blender, which is also damp. Always damp. We're going to dab that onto the skin. Make sure you blend it down your neck. We don't want any lines. Now that I have my foundation applied, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Cosmetics 16 Hour Camo Concealer in the shade Light Warm. So now we're going to blend out the concealer with our damp beauty blender. Now that we have our concealer blended, we're going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Translucent Setting Powder and we're going to set our face with our Damp Beauty Blender. We're going to let that set for a minute and we'll be right back. Now we're taking our JH07 fluffy brush to dust off the excess powder. Now taking the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Latte.
For bronzer, I'm going in with the Milani Silky Matte Powder in 02 Sunkissed. Now for blush, I'm taking the Essence Cosmetics Mosaic Blush in the Berry Connection. For highlighter, we're going in with Jaclyn Cosmetics New Valentine's Day Capsule Highlighter in the shade Flurries. And we're applying that with our Morphe Jeffree Star Sky High Brush. To prime our eyelids, we're taking the P. Louise Makeup Academy Rumor 0.5 Base. For our eyeshadow, I'm taking the e.l.f. Mint to Be palette and I'm going to apply this darker shade here to my crease. Now taking the lighter mint shade, we're going to blend out the harsh line.
Now taking the mint green glitter, we're going to apply that to the lower part of our lid and wing it out. Now I'm going to take the darker green shadow and I'm going to blend that out to my lower lash line. Now I do have the No Budge eyeshadow that also came with this collection, but I'm going to use this as an eyeliner for my lower lash line, and this is in the shade Mint For You, which is the mint green. Now that we have that done, we're going to go in and curl our eyelashes. For mascara, we're using the Essence Lash Princess False Effect Mascara. Now I'm going in with the Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray. My handy dandy fan to dry it down. And for my lipstick, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Coconut Matte Lipstick. And this is the final look. So all in all, this collection, I really like it. The primer, it smells really good. It kind of smells like chocolate, but I really do like it. I did have a little bit of a cooling effect. effect. Um, nothing too crazy, but I really do like it. The no smudge eyeshadow, 
Um, I use it as a liner, as you guys saw in the tutorial. I highly, highly recommend this. It's so nice. It's very smooth. So far, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I did get two of the eyeshadow. I got the Meant to Be and the Mint Chocolate Palette. Um, the matte colors were very blendable. I did have a little bit of trouble with the glitters getting that applied to my eyelids. But overall, it's a really great palette. I love them both. Um, I've played around with the mint chocolate one um, last weekend, I believe, but it's really nice. So if you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. It's a really cute collection and it's super affordable.